morning, family. Surprise, surprise for me. So, if you've been following my videos, you see that I had uh, showed you the area where my garden used to be. And since my injury, I haven't been able to get back there. So, the garden had become overran and with weeds and it just didn't look like my garden anymore and me and my husband both had to have surgery this year so we weren't able to tend to it but i woke up this morning and my hubby is out there tilling um, that area to get it used to or get it ready for um, the fall i have been complaining that i need more room i need more room <laughs> so he is uh getting that ready for me yay isn't that lovely anyway did a walk around my garden this morning and look what I found. My very first cucumber of the season. And yes, it is of that um, bait alpha variety. But it's doing really good. Um, I got a lot of other little cucumbers on the vine and flowers. See the little bitty one right there. See another little bitty one right there and another one right there and there and there <laughs> yeah they're just coming all over the vine so guessing it will be plentiful and i see all of the flowers in the squash garden today wide open look at that bees are humming around fertilizing I got a lot of baby squash on here already look at this one pretty nice uh, looking good today looking good today especially over here in front of the butternut squash those flowers are wide open look at that look at the bees fertilizing or pollinating I'm sorry look at there they are wide open and I have pruned so that they can get to them nice and easy look at that I'm happy about that all right and okra standing up nice and tall I don't know if I have any okra yet. None yet, but I can see some forming down in here. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see some forming starting to form. Yep. My corn is looking nice. All this silk starting to turn brown nice and full looking like it got fertilized or pollinated well all of the tassels up there are taller than i am this is what i was asking in um the live the other day like some of my tassels i mean some of my silk is green and some of it is red and i planted the same kind of corn the peaches and cream that's why i was asking like why is some of it red and some of it is green like I got a few silk that is red and I have a few that's green but it's all the same kind of corn so I guess it'll all turn out the same look at these vines over here it's my watermelon vine still don't see any melons on it yet Oh, yes, I do. Look at there. There go a teeny tiny little melon. Teeny tiny little melon. This is another watermelon vine. I don't know if I have any watermelons on that one. Let's see. Uh, nothing yet. Let's see. It's sprawling out on the ground. I had put a trellis over here so I can get it to go up the vine, but 
It has a mind of its own as well. Peace. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my yard yet, y'all. So stuff is all over the place. But these are my purple hole peas. And they look amazing. They are looking amazing. No peas yet. Carrots finally broke through. Yay. Radish. Lima beans. Green beans. Come over here to these little raised beds. Finally got some cluster tomatoes. Yeah, I found the biggest hornworm on my tomatoes yesterday. They were tearing my tomato plants up. I got all these little worms off. Well, I thought I did. I'm gonna have to go get my soapy solution because I see some more babies right there. And as you see, they're, they are tearing my leaves up. But I found Mama, and Mama was huge. I have to share a picture of her with you all, but yeah, she was huge. I have to get her before they destroy my tomatoes. A couple of pepper plants in here. Look at my peppers. Yeah, those are doing good. Look like a couple of those can be harvested. These are my tomatoes. Starting to do well. Both of those um carbone Cherokee purple. Got a couple more back up in there. Now that we've been getting all this rain and I found the hornworm, kind of scared to leave those on the vine. I usually let them stay on until they get some color, but I don't know. We'll see. I pulled a couple of plants up already because of the damage from the hornworms. But I don't know. We'll see. Oh, this one finally has a little tomato on it, if you can see it right there. Finally. That is that uh, Golden Jubilee. It's been so slow so slow but I took the advice and did the fish fertilizer and the molasses so we got a little bit of flowers and a little tomato we'll see happen okay I wasn't gonna walk my whole garden just wanted you all to see I also will give you a progress update. Uh, look, you guys. Looky, looky. My elephant ears have popped through. Wow. I put those in the ground about two weeks ago. I should have been done that, but yeah, it just happened. But look at there. They popped through. Yay. Okay, here is the container that I had the mint in, and it is finally starting to emerge. Yes, it is. Get those little weeds out of there, too. I'm going to be trying to sneak in my containers. Don't try to sneak in my containers. I know the difference. Okay, this was the tea garden. Those are the African daisies that are starting to pop through. And the echinacea. Look at there. Starting to pop on through. The chamomile. Still don't see anything much from the chamomile except for one little bitty seedling right there. This is the red roselle hibiscus. It is doing amazing 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 and the nasturtiums are starting to pop through yep
going to be happy for that. I bought some more seedlings to put through there. The butterfly pea and the um, lemongrass. I still have to plant that. Again, I'm late, but I will plant it soon. Today seems like a good day. It's overcast. It's not so hot out here. Um, maybe I can get it in the ground today. Still so happy to see my still so happy to see my squash plants you guys look at all those flowers in there the zucchini look at that i'm so glad i came out here and pruned so that the bees can see what they needed to see so happy okay let's get over here and see what's going on my little seedling table <laughs> and I gotta put this sage in the ground my sweet potato slips still need to put some of those in the ground these are a little bit of everything my cabbage some bok choy and different things like that some broccoli uh, things like that I need to go ahead and move to a bigger or thin them out move them to a bigger bucket oregano, parsley, and that pumpkin I should have been put in the ground, and purple sage, and this little pepper plant here with the Thai hot peppers. Those collard green trees, again, something is eating up my leaves up here, look at that since the rain I have to do something with those oh no look at there they tore my leaves up this is all just in one day you guys what is on my plant we're gonna find the culprit better not be another hornworm but it's looking like that's what it's gonna be have to start that plant over. A lot of my trees are looking good. Oh, look at there. Got some new blooms coming on my lemon tree. This is the Ponderosa lemon. Look at that. All right. Okay, that was just a walk around my garden. I just wanted to share the good news that I'm getting some more space. Um, y'all enjoy your day, put some more seeds in the ground and watch them grow. I will catch you in the next video.